What is up everyone? We are here with some more Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. We're going to be doing the very hard Sector 5 Crisis Dungeon today. Um, I have already completed it once. Um, I did not grab any of the rare chests. We can kind of see that all together. I am going to be using the same team that I did from the other one. Uh, this has a recommended power level of up to 235,700. We're at 273 with this one. Um... So if you didn't see the just the regular Sector 5 hard, here's my current setup. Sephiroth has his Fire Mastery Garb using the Radiant Edge to boost P attack and Fire Potency. The Prototype Prism Blade to boost Fire Potency and P, uh, just attack. And then he does have the Egg Staff here. This is to boost his HP and Fire Potency. Um, he has a Fire Breach if you don't have a, you know, like if you don't have the Radiant Edge here, uh, you know, bring something to lower down fire resistance that's going to be needed uh fire a blow just as a for a good fire attack and then he has the circle sigil to break uh sigils um i could be using the crimson what's it called crimson flare um not everybody might have that again i'm trying to handicap myself to make this maybe a little bit more relatable to those that are uh just kind of starting off or don't have a lot of equipment just yet um so i have his ardent flare in place for it uh, like i said i have handicapped myself in the sense i'm not using these two equipment slots to bring down um my overall stats uh, those of you again if you don't have this kind of stuff you want to boost your fire attack you want to boost p attack if it's the physical uh boost hp you could also boost uh, the physical attack command uh, with things like a mad minutes. The physical ability potency, sorry, um, uh, to help out as well. Again, my goal is to make this a little bit more comparable to those that maybe don't have things over boosted nearly as much or maybe don't have this kind of gear. So by me handicapping myself, you can maybe find ways to boost other stats. So here are my current stats for Sephiroth, his R abilities, he's got boost HP of 3, the fire mastery, P attack of 5, fire potency of 5, and attack of 3. Cloud, here's his current stats. He does have his flame blade arcanum. I have the sky splitter here. He does have the new burning ore from the current event. I don't have it boosted all the way yet. Uh, still working on that. I do have uh, Hellfire here from Ifrit. Sub equipment wise, he's using the Crew Kicker to boost his HP and fire potency. Uh, we have the Runer Blow here. This is just to boost his HP and P attack. Fire Blows to boost his P attack. And then the Runer Blow is a circle for the Sigil phase. Uh, but it does boost his P attack and HP. And finally, that brings us to Aerith. Uh, she has her rosy battle suit for healing boost. She's got the fairy tale to heal, the sun umbrella to lower the P def and M def. Uh, she has the guard stick to boost her heal, and then the butterfly edge to boost HP. Material wise, we have Asuna for poison, Asuna for fatigue, and then circle to sigil break. And then she's using her healing wind limit break. Again, we have a power level of 273,836 uh, when that recommended was 235,7, so we're about 40,000 over it. Let's get into it. Remember, guys, if you do like what you see, feel free to drop that like, comment, or subscribe. If you're not already, that'd be amazing. Let's go. All right, so if we come down here, you'll see that there's a bridge that needs to be lowered uh, so we can get the rare item. We're going to go down first. Uh, there is a battle basically right here at the bottom if you're not careful if you run forward. So if you're not ready to take that battle yet, don't. We can come over here and open this chest, grab the high potions and the supplements. Um, now... I forgot to show the enemies we're going to battle in here. Uh, so again, fire. You can bring wind for the Vosser Glows or for the uh, Blue Dragon, uh, but uh, 
Not for the Voskles, I was right, sorry. Uh, not needed, just bring fire. Circle sigil, you're good to go. Uh, so we are going to come down and around. We'll come back to the other guy in a second. Now, I did not do this my first time when I completed this. Um, actually, I ran too far forward after getting off the ladder. So this is going to allow us to uh, get some attack command built up. Which will be really beneficial going into that first boss battle. And I'm going to clear this one first. So this guy does poison. Why we brought along the healing poison. Aerith's going to do her thing and stop that from being a problem. This guy does keep raising his magic attack, so you do have to watch out for that. So the faster you can kill him, the better. I'm going to initiate his overkill, but we're going to go ahead and stop that from being a problem. So we can kill him off with the tail laser. That tail laser does hurt. Right, first battle is down. And I'm going to take the Physical defense plus 50. We're going to come up here and grab this rare chest. Blue crystal times 100. I am going to go ahead and use some supplements here. Just one each. We'll let Aerith uh, heal us up here in a moment, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use a summon. Forgot our attack command was not filled all the way, so I'm gonna hold off on using Hellfire. Let Sephiroth uh, maybe take down the fire defense there. Perfect. Now we can do this. He's gonna cast Fog Breath, which isn't gonna make a difference because none of us are using magic. And there he goes. So far, so good. And I'm going to take the Lightning Resist, Stun Resist, and that's going to be because of when we come back around to take this guy. Got the Fire Cocktail, our Jelly, and now we are going to go all the way back around.
I am fully aware that I could go down. I just want to take this fight first. Now I want the lightning resist against this guy. Come up the charge right away. It going to hurt, and then we're going to heal up. That is the reason I took the physical defense plus and the uh, lightning resist like I did. Good, we got the hit off before he does his attack. Uh, that's right, that is magical. You can see that does quite a bit of damage to us. This explosive jolt's now coming, which is going to be a sigil break phase. Trying to break the sigils as fast as we can here. Almost there. I'm going to be close. Actually, I want Aerith to heal. Or not heal, I wanted her to do that. There we go. She can come in and heal, we can come in and do this. And again, I want to hold on to the uh, limit breaks. We want to kill him before this jolt goes off. There we go. And we will use some uh, supplements. All right here, we're going to take the physical attack plus 20. And again, supplement up here. We're going to go ahead and use two on Cloud and Sephiroth, just the one on Aerith. Now we can come over. We're going to come up this ladder, which will allow us to get the other rare item. I said you can lower down the bridge, you can't. Synth Catalyst Knight, perfect. And down we go. I am going to hold my uh, limit breaks until after this fight because next is the uh, after this fight is the final uh, boss. Uh, we sh should be good to run in here. guys down. It's going to weaken their attack here. Now 
Alright, one more to go. Getting hits hard, but... We're okay. We will go ahead and use that other supplement on Aerith. And grab this chest. Uh, for here, we're going to go ahead and take the magic defense plus 50. So, Supplement, lose two on Aerith, one on Cloud, and here we're going to go ahead and do like we did in the other one, Fire Cocktail, Power Jelly on Cloud only, no point in wasting the other one. And I think we're going to get one more random encounter. Yep, there it is. This will give Aerith time to heal us up and let our attack gauge build back up. I might go ahead and use Aerith's uh, limit break and she can get us healed up fast enough. Eh, she's doing fine. Once we get rid of one of those assassins, we'll be in a much better position. That did fill the rest of the way. And there we go. Grab the last rare chest that'll be just above us, and then we can go ham in on the last battle. Mithril Ore. And here we go. So we do have... That should be fine. Let's go. You want to use your limit breaks fairly quickly here because he will put up a fire shield. Flame shield right there. So we're doing as much damage as we can just before he puts up his shield. And you can see we didn't do a whole lot to him before he puts up a shield. So Aerith's going to be on lowering defense duty. Sephiroth's going to be lowering down his fire uh, resistance. And we're trying not to let this comet gauge fill up. And that's the big thing. Do not let Comet go off. And you can see we're keeping it down. That hurts a little bit. Again, just keep whittling down his, his uh, health here. I do want Aerith to heal here, and she's not. Um, we are close enough that I am just gonna. Our th oh, no, we're gonna. He's gonna make us do the sigil. Take off the auto here. We're gonna. I think I can take down his HP fast enough. We don't need to do this. I'll just do that to ensure it. Uh, if you're not, don't have his HP down close enough, definitely do the sigil break. Um, if you've got 
you know, something that can pop his HP down fast enough, ignore the sigil break, and just DPS it. And that is the fight. That is the Sector 5 Berry Hard Dungeon. Crisis Dungeon. And again, S plus ranking. So there you go. There's kind of a, an easy little walkthrough guide of how to do that. Uh, so hopefully that helps you guys out. Again, remember I've handicapped myself, so feel free to fill up those other slots that boost up your HP, uh, your fire potency, or physical or magic attack for whichever type of party you're bringing in. We're going to call that here. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.